This is a 1988 Honda Keyvan. It's all wheel drive, so let's off road it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody's okay. Everybody's okay. Nothing broken. Nothing broken. Just the just the front of the 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 car was just pushed in a little bit. Uh, okay, that now it's that was my fault. I should have predicted this, but everything's okay. And Troy, the owner, says, "Look, and let's let's just fast forward to the end. It's fine. He fixed it. It's just a metal car. That's the thing about the key vans in the '80s. They're 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 all metal. So he just got in. He tapped it all out. Fresh, just little touch up paint. It's all good. So." Throughout this video, the, the shots are going to move in between uh, the car with a dent in the front and not a dent in the front. But uh, thank goodness, it was just <laughs> a, a, a Honda key van uh, got backed into by a Daihatsu mini truck, so or a Daihatsu key truck, so we're all good. Anyway, let me tell you about Japan. Japan is better than everything. This van is Japan. Imported a car from Japan. Imported a van from Japan. This is how they drive in Japan. This is where they drive in Japan. This is how they Japan in Japan. Talking about key vans. The automotive equivalent of talking about those weird flavors of Kit Kats. Everything about this car is weird. And not just the other side of the car steering from where you sit and turn the wheel. The accelerator pedal doesn't travel very far. So it's more like a switch. Either you're in motion or you're retreating. A key van is a car you buy so you can just smirk at everybody. See, I'm just, I'm going just as fast as you. I got three cylinders. I got 37 horsepower, but I still got all wheel drive. Driving this car is one big how to be there inside joke. You import one of these chiropractor dream cars so you can park at Sam Ash Music, get out of the van, and look back and, hmm. Oh crap, no one's looking at me. No one is asking any questions. I'll, I'm, I'm just going to walk away and uh, pretend to walk back to the van for someone and maybe a MILF or a Votech student will show up and ask questions. And I can act all indifferent and say, oh, oh, this thing? As if it's completely normal to drive one of these in America. But be ready for the questions. It's just like a DeLorean. But unlike a DeLorean, the questions aren't going to be nerd questions. Sometimes the questions are going to come from confused and slightly irritated dads. You know the type, the concerned citizen, the angry town hall meeting enthusiast, upset that an Afghanistan-esque family car is rolling into their wholesome Protestant Sons of Anarchy town. And you'll get questions that start like, you, come here, come here, hey, let me ask you a question. What, why you gotta drive that? What is that? Oh, this is a Honda key van, it's... Yeah, great. Let me ask you another question. Why don't you like American cars? Oh, no, nothing's wrong with them, but this car is... Well, let me ask you this. Well, why you gotta have it then? I like how it... Are you a fag? Please don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just asking questions, buddy. There is a lack of legroom behind your feet because the wheel wells are right there. Really, you're sitting on top of the front wheels, which turn under you. There are American cars, or cars meant for the American market that feel top-heavy, like a Honda Element. And people are like, LOL, so top-heavy, I feel like I'm gonna tip over. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I shoot up serotonin like Tamaqua heroin addicts so I can be good morning America cheerful. A key van will tip over. I wasn't relaxed driving this. A 1988 Honda, A-C-T-Y, I don't know how to pronounce that, street key van is just one big box of anxiety. We're not trained to drive these things. It does have a five speed and the gears are pretty close because you need every single one of these gears. But when you're rolling on the highway, people notice you. Hello, Mr. Audi. I am so much hipper than you. Oh, I see you looking. I see you looking. Troy is so much cooler than you. This key van is owned by Troy Fru. Troy also sold us the Ford 302 V8 for the Vagabond Falcon and the AOD 4-speed. He had those engines for some other project, but the project went in a different direction, so he sold them to us. Thank you, Troy. And this key van, it's not a show car. He uses it for its original intention, hauling stuff. It's a parts hauler for him. And it's great. In the DC area, you're not going that fast at all. You gotta haul stuff. It's a wonderful car for going slow. Oh, but Troy gets up to 7 70 miles an hour on this thing on the highway. He's got brass balls. Fairfax County, white people. The city, this key van also has air conditioning. All right, three cylinder, 550 cc, 37 horsepower, AC. Sure, I'm gonna turn that on. Suspension, leaf springs in the back, really tiny coilovers in the front, and ooh, oh, 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 
up. Did you notice something? Guess where the radiator is? Underneath, facing down, parallel to the street. It sucks up from the bottom. Behind the radiator is the spare tire, which is held in by rod clamps similar to an old school dual brake master cylinder reservoir cap or a 1970s motorcycle carburetor float bowl. The clutch grabs like a track bike clutch. Like it has a friction Two zone, the width of this mechanical right pencil tip, which I'm riding right now. Minimum, uh, safety. Whoa, this thing rocks. <laughs> So, yeah, okay, we gotta make left. a turn. We're taking this left. Ah! Are you serious? Ah! <laughs> no problems with visibility. Alright, you sure you're in gear? You're, you're not in third, are you? No, we pulled. Let it out. Easy, 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 and there we go. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah, go. Uh, second gear. Clutch. Clutch. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork. Troy, you're a better man than me to be able to daily this thing. So thank you very much, Troy, for letting us drive this and being our companion and father confessor throughout this whole trip and our off-road extravaganza. And thank you for keeping something like this on the road. You remind us that the world is so much larger than our highways and back roads, and that the automotive animal kingdom has pockets and branches that we never see here. I salute you, Troy. Thank you for keeping this on the road. See you next week. And we did a key van just for you Imported from Japan, it's true Golf shirts are to me Like a Honda key van shoving you Oh, for crying out loud, who's calling me now?